Now, most recently, it was a natural disaster more than 6,000 miles away that brought together generous Texans from different backgrounds. The deadly earthquake that hit Syria in February changed the lives of thousands. It even affected those in a small yet thriving community in Odessa. My name is Gülcan Öztürkmen. I am from Adyaman, Turkey. Adyaman is a city in southeastern Turkey. It was one of the worst cities affected by the earthquakes. At first, I didn't know what to do, like how to support them. I just, like, I was shocked. Öztürkmen has called the basin home for the past eight years. She says her brothers still live in Turkey. And when the 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck their beloved home, she immediately tried to get a hold of them. He told me that the area he is living, all the buildings are collapsed and there is a fire going on around. Osterman's mother also lives in Turkey, but during the time of the quake, she was in Odessa visiting her. No electricity and no running water in their hometown. She says her mother's house was also damaged beyond repair. She was going to go back to Turkey, but because of the earthquake, my brothers told me, like, don't send her because she doesn't have hot, no house to go. All that's left is debris, a stairway, and heartache. But Osterman says she can still reminisce about her country with other Turkish people in the basin. Turkey is uh, one of the best places to live. It's a place known worldwide for its beaches, culture, sunshine, food, and overall hospitality. This is a Turkish delight. Inside the Peace Academy of West Texas is a group of people that tell me they came to the United States like many for an opportunity. This is me. This is the Mediterranean Sea. With only pictures to show, which was once his life in Turkey, sociology associate professor at the University of Texas Permian Basin, Dr. Seba Hatin Ziannak, says he came to the U.S. in 2001 to follow his dreams of becoming an educator and says it wasn't an easy adjustment. It was very difficult because uh, Turkish culture is very tight and close relationship and indiv individuality is really far different than the USA. Aside from teaching, Dr. Zianak is also a current board member for the Peace Academy of West Texas in Odessa. He says the organization strives to establish a bridge between the Turkish and American cultures by providing educational, social services, and so much more. Because some of them are, they have English barriers, even they have some, uh, uh, they are legal people, they, they are love to work here, but uh, it's fine, it's, it will be finding um, very hard for them to find a job, find accommodation places, because they don't have the credit history story, somebody, they need somebody else to help them or they, they can trust. Dr. Zanak says the nonprofit is volunteer based with 76 active members that are very involved in all parts of the community and will also do whatever it takes to help when devastation hits. Dr. Zyanak says the group raised and donated thousands of dollars to deliver aid to those hurt by the earthquake. We wanted to make sure that the person who is affected from the earthquake to receiving the, that amount we are sending. Osterman, who also volunteers with Peace Academy of West Texas, tells me her brothers are one of the many they sent money to. So where are your brothers now? Right now, currently, like, they are in their houses and, uh, like, they're trying to fix it, like, little by little every day. And says it wouldn't have been possible without the support of the group. I am happy to be part of this group and so we are serving these people, so I will, I will like to welcome everybody in this group. Peace Academy of West Texas continues to support and donate to those impacted by the Turkey Syria earthquake. They tell me they have been collaborating with other groups in the area to create meaningful shared experiences for all to enjoy in the basin. Reporting in studio, Azimura, ABC Big 2 News.